coach, coo, coach, coo, coach, coo, the coach, coo, show. Coach, coo, coach, coo, coach, coo, the coach, coo, show. Miami Hurricanes fans and maybe maybe a Virginia fan <laughs> maybe uh, I think there was one I'm, I'm pretty sure there was one last night Chris noticed them so they do exist there are Cavalier fans out there in the world just not a lot of them okay you know um but I hope the, the one Virginia fan that is here has uh, a, an okay time tonight. Uh, how's everybody doing? How was everybody Saturday? Man, it's good to see everybody here tonight. I want to give some shout-outs to everybody who was here bright and early. Melissa, we have to talk about this. Melissa, we must talk about this. Now, first off, there are two things that I need to discuss with Melissa. First off is this argument when it comes to Adidas, because now the Nike Adidas argument has fired up once again, all because of the new Ultra Boost that have dropped, which I personally think are fire, by the way, but I'm going to pull them up on stream and we're going to take a look at them. And I want you guys to let me know if you think they're fire or not, in case you haven't seen them. But that's why all this is fired back up again and we should go back to Nike and screw Adidas. Their shoes suck. Their jerseys suck. Their, their, their fan merch sucks. Everything sucks. And there is an argument going around that there are recruits not choosing Miami because they don't want to rock Adidas gear. Are you... Listen, I... And this doesn't apply to everyone. There's always exceptions. But I have talked to multiple recruits, recruits that are currently at Miami, that are now Miami Hurricanes, and guys that have not decided yet. And unless they're just bold face lying to me, which is a real possibility, they could be, most of them have said they don't really care whether it's a Nike school, Adidas school, Jordan, any of that stuff. Do you want, you want to know what the, the top three things were that recruits told me? that mean the most to them when deciding on where they're going? What do you think the, the top three things were? What do you think? Because that had absolutely nothing to do with it. And that's just not because I'm a fan of Adidas. You want to know what the, the, the number, the top three things were in order? In order! I want somebody to clip this and share this somewhere because there are going to be people that roll in throughout the night and they're going to miss this. I've talked to many, many recruits Top three things in order. Number one is chance at immediate playtime. When guys come in, they don't they don't want to come in and sit on the bench. They want to play right now. And the thing is, is a lot of them understand that they need time to develop and you know get used to the college level. But they want immediate playtime if possible. That's number one. Number two is coaching staff and when i say coaching staff i'm talking about they want it to feel like a family the relationship with the coaches that is very important to them they want to feel wanted and they want it to be kind of a a, a family atmosphere and last but not least was nil opportunities and the uh the potential to be developed by coaches that have a history of putting guys in the NFL. Those are the top three things in order that pretty much every single recruit has told me. And I think that that makes the most sense, doesn't it? Don't you guys think that makes the most sense? And yeah, I would I would want immediate playing time too, but none of them none of them mentioned Adidas, Nike, Jordan, Under Armour. I mean, they're going to hook them up with gear regardless. And 
people act like that the kids these days don't like Yeezys or Ultra Boost or you know they do, they do. I really, I, I, I don't know. I'm at a loss, Melissa. I'm honestly, I'm getting really upset reading this stuff on Twitter too. I'm getting really freaking mad over it. Uh, Phil Romano, re-upping that Canes fan membership for three months. Guys, we'll kick off in five minutes or less. You have my word, five minutes or less, and we're kicking this thing off. Uh, Phil Romano, three months, re-upping the Canes fan membership. He said, Coop, incoming 50 for Coop. Go Canes. I have made a promise, Phil. A promise that I plan to fulfill. I am a man of my word. When Coach Coop says he's going to do something on the field, He's going to do it, right? <clears throat> I promised a 50-burger on UVA tonight. We're going to get the dub, and we're going to put 50 on them, 100%. Let me give some shout-outs to everybody who's here bright and early. Dennis, what's good, man? It's good to see you in here. We got Malik, always representing FSU. Rep your squad, bro. Appreciate you being here. We got John O'Mara in the building. We're putting up the 50. We're putting up, we're doing it. Randy, what's up, man? Randy always here bright and early. Nick 305 Canes. What's going on, Nick? Uh, we had someone new. I saw Pat Jones. Pat Jones, what's up? That you is looking good by your name, Pat. I appreciate you being here, Pat. And yes, I am fashionably late for every single stream. I'm going to give you a piece of advice on how I view life when it comes to appointments and you know, shows and different things like that. If you're always late, not late, late, like we're not talking like half an hour. We're talking like two to five minutes. If you're always late, this is a life we hack. Ballin', boy. When you're always late and you become known as the guy who's always late, then when, you, when you're late, it's no big deal. Everyone's like, oh, that's just Coop. That's normal. He's, he's always late to everything. So then you don't ever have to worry about being on time for work, for appointments, for anything. Just like when you become known as the crazy guy, when you do something crazy, it's not that big of a deal because that's that crazy guy. Yeah, Coop, Coop uh, was was found streaking butt naked down the road. You know, they're not going to put it on the news because Coop's crazy anyway. So that's just a normal average Saturday. You know what I'm saying? Just, just, a, just a life hack, piece of advice. Uh, Aiden in the building with his usual go Georgia Bulldogs. Are you guys gonna? Are you going for the Natty again? Do you think? Do you think it's possible, Aiden? Be real. Be honest with me. Be real. We got workforce freebie in the building. Keep an eye. We we can't have Susan. We cannot have Susan. Has found a way to make it into the post game presser the last seven to eight weeks. We got to put a stop to that. We have to. We got Canes today in the building. What's up, Canes today? Matthew, I saw that you were having some issues with peeps on Twitter, right? Twitter is is mostly a cesspool. There's some great people over there. A lot of you guys are over there. I'm over there. Uh, but Twitter can be a very nasty place. It's Twitter can be real bad. Real, real bad. Uh, Bryce, what's up, man? Let's see if you can get that 50 piece. We're dropping it, Bryce. We're dropping it. I Think about this, guys. I've lost by a combined nine points over the last two weeks. We're talking North Carolina and Clemson. I lost to Clemson by three points last Saturday. We taking care of business, all right? We finally, we finally put this thing together. I think we've righted this ship, and I, I think we're good to go. What's up, T. Davis? Let's go, man. Uh, let's see. We got Nick Snyder. Uh, is there anyone else? Anyone else I'm missing? Knox Kane 94. What's up, bro? Thomas. Yo, yo. Briley in the building. This is day 67 and I'm having a stupid U next to my name. At least I can use custom emotes to surround Mario with screaming children. <laughs> what is that? That's terrifying. Fair, fair. I'm glad you found something that you could, some kind of use out of that Kane's fan membership, Briley. I'm happy you're part of the fam. We got Forza in the building. <laughs> See <laughs> Dalton. Yeah, so the other part of this, hoodie girl, I've heard that I'm on the hot seat. Am I on the hot seat for being four and three with losses to Miami of Ohio, which was a fluke loss, by the way, North Carolina and Clemson? Am I really on the hot seat? That's by a combined less than like 13 points over those three games. They've been close. Is, is Coach Coop on the virtual hot seat? I don't think it's fair to say so, but there, there's a petition floating around to make hoodie girl the new head coach. 
That's just what I've heard. That's what's floating around on the interwebs. Hey, yo! What's up, man? Good to have you in the building. <laughs> yes, I am. No way, bro. I'm not on the hot seat. Ain't no way. Ain't no way Coach Coop's on the hot seat. Uh-uh. Scotty Digital, what's up, man? Mama Coop in the building. Mama Coop, we're dropping 50 on them tonight. We're going crazy. We got Duck in here. John O'Mara. Coop, don't drink the Kool-Aid. Now, when it, here's the thing, John. I say don't drink the Kool-Aid. We're kicking off in less than two minutes, guys. Less than two minutes, we're kicking off this game. I told you guys don't drink the Kool-Aid for the real season, but for the virtual season with Coach Coop running the program, you should have yourself a nice, cold, tall glass of orange Kool-Aid. I really think you should. I think that we're making a comeback in the, the second half of this season. Joseph's Comics, what's up? It makes sense, but why do a lot of players go to top SEC schools knowing dang well they're not going to ride that pine <laughs> Pinewood pony for a good minute? Well, for me, I feel like the reason why is going to be SEC gets more exposure. Uh, SEC teams are typically at, at the top. You know, when you look at top five, top ten programs, teams that are consistently winning championships. And everybody wants to be a winner. You know, even if you are going to have to ride the bench for a while, if it comes down to that, you know that when your time does come, a lot of these guys are going in the NFL. I mean, just look at the numbers, you know. And again, keep in mind, there's always exceptions, always exceptions. But that's what that's what I get whenever I talk to a lot of the recruits. Uh, John, thank you for the 11 months, bro. Thank you for the love, man. Jacoby, what's up, man? Good to see you, Cornelius. All right, let me get into this. Let me get into this for a minute. Crip, what's up? Hoodie girl for OC. Okay, I see. I see. So not head coach, but OC. Okay. But here's the problem, guys. If Melissa, a.k.a. the famous hoodie girl, was OC, she would only throw the slant to Harold. She wouldn't run, she wouldn't run any other play. I mean, Harold would be excited. He would be happy. But they would be it would be a one play playbook. <laughs> right, Melissa? Cajun Kane, what's up? Enjoying this stream from the beach. My man's chilling. Okay, all right. I see you. I see you. Uh Kane's Hunter 69 says, and Coop, I got you over Lance in the race. I got me over Lance in the race too, and so does Lance's dad, Kane's Hunter. So what does that tell you? I mean, the 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 dude's dad even believes in Coop over Lance. So I don't really know what else to say. You know, Adam Sadowski, what's good, man? So let me ask you guys a question. Since this is trending right now on Twitter and everyone's in, in freak out mode and it's, it's such a big deal. Do you think these shoes are fire or not? You can be honest. If you don't like them, it, it's okay. There could be multiple reasons why you don't like these shoes. Do you think the new Ultra Boost for Miami Look good or not? Because Canes fans are all up in arms, man. All up in arms. Talking about how this is one of the worst designed shoes for the Miami Hurricanes ever. Honestly, I love the black. One of my complaints with shoes is when they have too much white because they get scuffed up and they get dirty and they're difficult to take care of. I love the black bottoms on this. Honestly, I, I like the blackout. I like uh, I like the orange. They, they look good. They look good. When you look on here, uh, these are the most hideous, patiently waiting for Jordans. Adidas needs to do better. Go back to Nike. Look who it is. There's Melissa, y'all. There's Melissa defending them. Uh, putting up Nike shoes, barf emojis. Do you like these or not? One more look. One more look. I think they're I think they're fire. I like them. You got the U on the tongue. On the back, one's Miami. One says Hurricanes. This doesn't show. It has Sebastian on the inside. I I don't understand what the fuss is about, man. And the hate for Adidas, just, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't get it. You ordered a pair already? Let's go, man. Okay, not not for me. I'm fat. Wait, what, what does that have to do with Ultra Boost, duck? What do you mean? Kind of ugly. 
I'm so stoked they ditched the white Melissa. Now, I'm thankful and, and love those shoes, the last one. Because once you guys sent them to me, they kind of grew on me. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, I like them a lot. But those will be so much easier to keep clean and to take care of, you know? Uh, IMAX, what's up? You're lurking and driving. Be safe, man. Be safe, bro. I appreciate you saying what's up. Kane's Hunter likes them. Crip would rock them. IMAX says seem better, but they're nice. Okay. Those are mid. Okay, but what makes them mid? What what makes them mid, though? That's what I'm confused about. Is it the black? Do people not like the black? I bet people would be happier if they had white. I bet if they had more white, people would like them. Ugly? Really? Y'all are crazy. Listen, we can still be friends, okay? We're still friends. We're still family. But y'all are crazy. You you are. I... I <laughs> You have bad taste in shoes. I'm sorry. I said it. But did it should do a Miami NMD? True. That would be interesting. The design of those are more marketable. I would like to see that. I think that'd be pretty sick. Orange on the bottom throws it off. Y'all got y'all got bad taste in shoes, man. I don't, I don't know what else to say. Um, I wanted to show you one more thing. The college football playoff prediction from Pick 6 Previews. I wanted to see if you guys agree or disagree with this. And then we're kicking off the game. What do you think? I'm just going to leave it up and see raw reactions. They have in the playoffs this year, Georgia, Michigan, uh, I don't know. I'm, I can't even, I can't even bring myself to, to say it. It, 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 my mouth has stopped working. F let me try, let me try, let me try. <clears throat> Flor Florida State. <clears throat> And this team at number four, I can't remember what their name is. Uh, Cypher might know. Um, uh, whatever this team is, I forgot. They're really not that big of a deal. Um, whoever that team was, I, I don't re I don't recall. Uh, nobody important. Anyways, I don't know if you guys agree or disagree with that. FSU is way overhyped. Man, I hope that's the case. Like FSU, they let, let's be real. They're they've made some strides, man. And you know this this could be this could be a big year for them. I hope it's not. Or if it is, I hope it is up until they run into us, and then we take care of business, and it makes us look extra good. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know. I don't know. I I don't know how I feel about that. I think that's Georgia absolutely is going to make a run for another natty. They are. I'm not saying they're going to win it, but they're going to make a run for it. Hundred percent. Michigan is a choker. Yeah, I don't think Michigan. Come on, bro. Like they've they've had their opportunity, so it is what it is, man. I I'll, always choking. Flounder State. That would have helped me say it. That's right. Um, that could be true, Melissa. I could see that. I could see that. Uh, what'd you put in there, Cajun Kane? We're about to kick off, guys. I've seen Yellow Jacket fans and Criminal fans this week at vacation. Ugh. Boy, you better be repping the you, Cajun Kane. You better be showing them what's up, my man. Uh, they meant 30. Wait, what was that, Scotty Digital? What'd you put? I must have missed it. No Bama. No respect for Bama, man. Yo, they on that they're on that Georgia hype train now, bro. They know they ain't no there's no respect for Bama anymore, man. It's all Georgia in the SEC, so uh it's gonna be interesting, man. I can't wait. And it's we're even closer than ever tonight, man. Closer than ever before to the college football season making its return. But right now, tonight, we got some business to take care of. The Coop Plays version of Miami versus Virginia. I'm currently 4-3 and three on the season after losing last week in an absolute heartbreaker to Clemson, 38-35. to 35. What's up, Steve? Steve, were you, did, Steve, did, did you say something about Coop being cute? 
Oh, hello, Steve. Y'all like the, the fit? Yo, y'all. How come Jordan always told me he hated this shirt? Yo, I love this shirt. I love this shirt. The, the, the green on one sleeve and orange on the other. I'm all about mismatch, guys. I'm that guy that wears two different colored socks, if you didn't know. And see, Mama Coop was in the building, and she said, my son is kind of a sneaker snob. I am. 100% I'm a sneaker snob. And see what you could do if you had, if you guys meet me this year at the game, I'm going to do what I did last year and give away free Cane for Life wristbands. What you could do is you could rock, you could get this shirt, hear me out, and then we're kicking off for real. Hear me out. You get these, you rock the green one on this wrist, you rock the orange one on this wrist. Yo! Yo, and then you're rocking the new Ultra Boost. Oh, man. Yo. Oh, man. That that would be so sick. That would be so freaking sick. You still wear one green shoe and one orange shoe. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. One green shoe and one orange shoe. Sure do. And that's what I'll be rocking at the Clemson game whenever I smoke former Miami Hurricanes wide receiver Lance Leggett. Anyways, guys, let me see some score predictions for tonight. Can Coop take care of business, promising 50-plus points on Virginia tonight? Let's see it. Let's see it. You know, I've, I, I, I understand what's been going on, guys. Okay? I know what's been happening. We've been far too predictable. We've not been mixing it up enough. I've not been creative enough. We need more pressure on defense, and I need more creativity on offense. You know, even when we're running the ball, we're running the same, like, three or four run plays. We got to mix it up. I'm throwing in some jet sweeps. I'm throwing in more play action. Come on now. Come on, y'all. 55 to nothing. Cool. Okay, okay. It's, it's a modified playbook that was set up by a, a small team of people to try to be a decent fit for what Miami would look like this year. Now, again, we don't really know what Dawson's going to look like specifically. All you can do is kind of gather what he's done in the past, mix in with the, this, these athletes here at Miami, and you try to, try to get as close as you can, right? Everybody believing in cool? 32-24 Miami? 35-10 to 10, Miami wins? Good to see you, Slade. 28-17 the U, 23-20 Miami. Let's kick it off, man. I've run my mouth long enough tonight. 51 to 50 Coop. Hey, that means we got the dub and we dropped at least 50. So you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. So guys, the post-game presser will still be happening tonight. Uh, so prepare your questions. Uh, yeah, if somebody puts exclamation point merch, I think it will link the Coach Coop merch store. We do have some pretty fire stuff over there. We're working on a couple of collabs for this season. Uh, there's possibly one happening with Coop and Hoodie Girl for a special edition hoodie design. We might bring back the very popular Don't Be a Fan Later t-shirt. We'll see. We'll see. We got some big plans. Got some big plans. I think NC State is next. Yep. I do think NC State is... Uh, is next on the schedule, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think. You'll do push-ups if I score 50 or more? Okay, 50 straight push-ups. No breaks, Phil. Let's head down to the coin toss now. No breaks. 50 straight push-ups, Phil. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy All right. everything. Yo, I'm ready! I'm ready! Can you call the first play on offense? You know what's funny, Melissa? For some reason, I feel like I know what it would be. We're starting out on defense. Okay. Let's set the tone, y'all. Here we go. Here we go. Four and three on the season. Let's get it. I'm ready. Excellent kick. Here we go, y'all. Yeah, let's do it, Melissa. Let's do it. That way that you've got this entire possession here to think. But don't wait too long because this should be a three and out. 
now the offense gets so ready. don't wait too long crack at it Okay, so it's not going to be a three and out. And he's tackled around the four right. one yard line. Well, that's a big gain there for the offense, and all that's doing is giving this quarterback more and more confidence. Okay. This is your audition for, for OC. First down. In the shotgun and five wide outs. Let's go, Stan. Let's go. He's at midfield. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, that What's was up, a situation buddy? where the quarterback good to see you. could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's we're a good We're getting decision. settled in, y'all. Don't panic. Yo, we're all right. Do I look like I'm panicking at all? First and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. There we go. Good D. Good D. Good call, Gidry. We take those negative yardage plays on first down. That's big time. You will be when they score. Nah. Nah. Get him, get him, get him. He's Somebody. Bro. Runs with it and he's got room. Decides to Bro, that's ridiculous. Good game there on the I really don't want to have to spy this man. I really, man. Like the I really, run, really he don't. And found no one open, so instead of throwing it away, he just took it upfield for himself. It's third down, three to go. Hey, Jacoby. Jacoby, we're going to show you. We're going to show you, bro. Some people say we do, but we're so slow. He's at the we're so freaking slow, man. The offensive coordinator has that should have been a stop. With the way his we are so slow. Very hurry, but they're very, are you very serious? And very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. First and 10. Ball on the 27 You're discussing line. compensation for Hoodie Girl? <laughs> <laughs> they they are eating right now. Great job. Wow. That's a gain of nine. Now see, here's what's funny though, guys. If I were to listen to everyone calling plays in the chat, it would be impossible because everybody is in here calling something different. Everybody in here is calling a different play. That's what I think is funny. So they march down the field and they score on the first drive. Okay? You know, we got to fill out this offense and we got to see what they're what they're running this afternoon. You know? Run pump block. Can't be any worse than what you're doing. <laughs> Listen. Listen. Look, defensively, we've not been the best team this season. And we know that and we accept it. Okay? We just got to score more than them. It is what it is. Defense is, is not, you know, has not been the best. All right. Are you calling the play, Melissa? Melissa's calling the first play on Miami's offense right offense here. Really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems. I'm better. ready. Right over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one what thing is I've it? seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after We're time. We're actually going to pause for a second. I know some of you will be mad about that, but I want to see. <laughs> Who would have guessed it? Okay. Slant to Harrell, well, I would have stance. never in a million you years. As a quarterback and as a leader never of would office, I ever. The okay. Down the field. Let's see. I don't remember which one is which. Is anybody well, is anybody surprised? They come out onto the field. Here we go. That's Harrell going to the outside on the short side of the field, though. 
I couldn't hit him, Melissa. The play, the, it was the slants. And Harold was in there, but Restrepo was open. So, I hope that counts. Still a slant, exactly. So, first play was a success. Okay, okay. Right now, we're just trying to, to get a fresh set of downs here. Good run from Paris. I'm the, I mean, they're going to be calling. They're going to be calling for it, Melissa. I can see it already. Okay. Again, trying to be more creative today. Hey, I love y'all too, C Dog. It doesn't matter if people are in here giving me a hard time, bro. I love it. I'm here for it, man. Where's my Where's my block out there? He's hit and got away. Okay. Right around the Okay. All right. Looking good so far. Let's keep the momentum here. I've got a plan. I've got a plan. Here we go. We've got a first and ten. Harris is running hard, man. He's he's happy to be back. You can, and it shows, for sure. But even though I make jokes and stuff, guys, that was a bad throw. Please keep like the the critique the critiques coming you know keep keep suggesting plays and stuff because i love it man absolutely love it you know what i'm about to freak y'all out i'm about to freak y'all out i don't know which right, i'm doing it we're running the jet sweep from the 40 we're running the jet sweep but we're doing it with restrepo I'm freaking doing it. First time in the season. We'll take four yards. We'll take four yards. Now, I told you guys, we're going to be creative, right? I promised you we would be. Trick play. Trick play right here. To Cole Parrish, to Colby Young. It's going to work. It's going to work, guys. He's not open. What? Perish! Bro! It didn't matter that Young wasn't open because XR7 was wide open. And he missed the throw. Wait, are we lagging? Are we good? Look at this real quick, though. Are we lagging? Okay, so right here, they read this, man. Like Colby Young, you see him on the right side right there. There's no way. But look at this, man. I stopped to throw and everything. And it's a running back throwing. I get it. Bro. Oh, that wasn't Restrepo. Who was that? Was that Harold? It was Harold, bro. Look at this. Parrish, what are you doing? Bro, we practiced that all week. My man, that... I know, but you, we practice it all week, Cypher. We practice this play all week. That's frustrating. Wow. Um, Y'all aren't going to like this. No, <laughs> that's a long... Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold on. That's a 53-yard field goal. <laughs> no, let's not. Let's not. Okay. Let's not do that. Fine. Fine. I'm going for it, though. I'm going for it. That. Pass out to the tight end, but it's incomplete. Huge play for the defense. Fire Dawson. I don't know what else to say. Fire Dawson, bro. 
So their last drive resulted in six points. Do you think we'll see the same? We got plenty of time. They plenty of time here. Extremely well on their last drive, and until this defense figures out how to stop it, I think they'll have no problem moving the ball down the field. This man's all of a sudden a, a Heisman quarterback. Is it still lagging? I'm having multiple people say that that it's lagging. Are are we good? I have PTSD from the last time that that we were we were lagging real bad. Y'all are good. Okay. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 49-yard line. Virginia up seven points. Thank you. Finally. Well, the defense doing a great job. That man is not that fast. They brought the blitz, and the defensive line was able to break through and come up with a big. Start. I should have kicked that 53-yard field goal. I'm keeping it real. I should have kicked that 53-yard field goal, honestly, because I think Andy would have got it. I really do. Okay, big third down here. This is huge, man. Big, big third down. down and they need to get it down to the could have thrown the ball to sebastian again true true man and a quick throw our defense is just trash man real talk like it just straight up it's our defense is trash You better throw one slant to Harold this game. We'll try. And he's taken down at the 37. Use the cheesy plays. Nope. No, no cheesy plays for me. And it is funny though because that's what a lot of people want me to do. People, people are always like, "Coop, just, just run the cheesy plays. Just cheese the game." I ain't doing it. I'm not gonna do it. From the 37 yard line, it's second down. Come on, come on. Let's go! Andy Let's go! Push him back! Has to do a better job of avoiding the rush, because sacks can be real. Did Manny kidnap Gidry? I don't know, man. I, the thing is, I, I can't play it safe here. Like, let's not play it safe. I still want to bring pressure here. Third and long here, and they hope to convert another Obvious one passing situation. Going. Virginia is up a score. Come on. Get him. Oh, what's the flag? I swear if it's a face mask. Okay. <laughs> Bro, I was about to say. I was about to say. Okay, we're going to decline it and make it fourth down. I know the defense would have liked That's to fine. They're going to kick the field goal. Game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Good stop. Good stop. They'll line it up for a very long field goal. But you chance. love cheese. I Virginia do. Can make this a two I do, but no cheesy plays. Goal. We can't. Barely. Barely. We can't go out with zero points in the first quarter, y'all. If, if we're hanging 50 on these guys. Sends it sailing downfield. Come on, Richard. Come on, bro. He's to the 20. Tackle okay. The 27. I'm still, I'm so mad, y'all, that that trick play didn't work. I'm, s you have no idea how upset I am. I'm, s I'm still mad they about that. Need to show that. a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out. About of time game. something went our way, Nick. You know, about freaking time. Is it gonna be there? It's there, it's there. Over the middle to his tailback. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Yo! Inside the Yo! 30. Let's go! And they finally knock him out at the nine. 
Parrish, go get some, go get some water. All right, you deserve a breather after that one. Woo, baby. Jeez, man, that was uh, that was something else. Okay. Big time play from Parrish. We got Fletcher in here now, right? Okay, that's what I thought. My man deserves a breather after that one. Here's a handoff, left side. Fletcher running hard. That's four yards. We take that, man. I don't see a reason to go through the air right here because I think we can score on the ground. 100%. I think we score on the ground here. Let's we'll just go ahead and punch it in. We got Fletcher in there, fresh set of legs. He's feeling good. It's all right. It's all right, we're right there. Two yards, baby. Two yards. We got this, here we go. From the two Here we go. Third down. Parrish is back in. Let's go, bro. Here we go. Three five. Three oh. five. You're right. You're right. That's the bugged play. Holy smokes. I'm glad you guys noticed it. The draw play is bugged. If you guys are new here, it's bugged. If you go back and, and rewind, I have to burn a timeout here. It sucks, but I have to. The game is bugged. So... Tyler Van Dyke is not on the field. It will hike the ball all the way back to the end zone. Look at this. I had to burn a timeout. I forgot. Oh, oh I forgot. Somebody's got to get on. Somebody's got to get on TVD, bro. Is that the two-yard line? Nah, listen. Listen. This is fine. Y'all are going to tell me it's not, but it is. So I had to waste the timeout, man, because Tyler line. Van Dyke was sitting on the bench instead of being on the field. Come on, Bears. Touchdown, Miami. Touchdown, Miami. Uh. I'm still goals. mad though. TVD trying to get benched. And he hits the PAT. See, that did. It actually cost us, potentially cost us the game against Clemson. Now, I shouldn't have got greedy and threw that pass to Colby Young without even seeing if he was open. I literally just sent it. Like, I saw off. Colby Young on the outside one on one, hiked the ball back to TVD, and I just pressed the button and threw it. And he got all. And it, it was it was good D on Clemson's part, and they took care of business. Goes into the end zone, down for a so, guys, if you are having Virginia issues with no uh, if it, the stream looks fuzzy or blurry, for the click the little cogwheel and, and make sure your stream is set like to this, 720 or 1080. They they can because what happens is if like we you, have fluctuating bit rate at game. all, then uh, the stream will auto go down. Well, the guys are chomping at the bit down there, waiting. For There's the nothing I can do about up. the bug, guys. There's literally nothing Virginia that can be done. Has a three-point lead. 36, 36. I was and trying to shift the, the line over, but I couldn't do it in time. He makes his way out to about the 35. Nothing There's I can do about the bug, y'all. I just can't run lead. the draw plays. Okay. I know it sucks, but there's just there's nothing I can do. And we're ready You're only here to see Coop hit 50. Well, you showed up to the right stream, man. Because it's happening. It's just a slower start than I wanted. That's all. That makes it second and two. It's second down and they're about You're only here to see Coop have a good time. My man, Steve. 
My man, Steve. He makes it to the 45-yard line. Okay, third and inches. What's the call, y'all? What is the call, y'all? I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it, man. Whoa, how? He's on the run. Pace off the left side. Yo, how? At the 47. First down. We just, we cannot catch a break, man. We can't catch a break on defense. From the 47 yard line, first down. Oh, come on, bro. Nice run there. Around five yards there on the option oh, keeper. Oh, man. That brings him second and five. Virginia is up by three. He's got an opening. And they finally push him out. I mean, listen. Well, that's a big play you know, by the offense. And I avert your the anger to the defensive coordinator. And you're taking some you know, chances. And it's one thing I, I don't know what to tell you guys. To the and Talk to Gidry. That's all I got to say. Blitz and you don't get home, as they say. Which means Talk to Gidry, man. You're leaving your defensive backs. It's, get, it's getting a little ridiculous, in isn't it? And if you don't get to that quarterback, and you're facing a talented quarterback like this man right here. You're going to pay for it. The coup specify which team is hitting 50. You know, I don't know. And he was able to do Did that I? Because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. Did I specify? Yeah, I think we did. I think we did. Second down. Get there. He's tackled. The okay. A one yard gain Take that, play. Cam. Usually you get Cam with the speed, man. You love to see end. it. So they might want to try some longer passes. Huge third down right here. This is massive. Oh, this is big right here. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Mike 51. Mike 51. There, let's go. There's Late hit on me. Late hit on the quarterback. No, wait, what? Yep. Complete breakdown of judgment and discipline. Can I get some 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 BS chance? Getting bailed out, huh? Bailing them out, huh? Okay. I see. Virginia All right. Doo -doo. What's up, man? We can still hold them to a field goal. The complaints are being gassed. No way, bro. Uh, Nick, no comment. I am the head coach, not a player. So... I'm not really sure how I'm supposed to answer that. From the 10 yard line, second down. Oh, bro. Bro, you gonna let him do you like that, James? He's right there to make the play. Bro, James was right. Look at this. Great execution by the entire offensive Yo! unit, especially the blocking up front. Now, what is Coop supposed to do about that? What is Coop supposed to do about that? Is Coop this and Coop that? And I can't believe Coop called this play and Coop did that. Bro, we're in position to make a play here. Look at this. Look at this, man. Bro, we're right here. Bro, I got Harvey right here, and I got James Williams. Porter's got his man. Bro, right here. Right here. Harvey takes care of the quarterback. Here's James, ready to make a play. But guess what? 
Number two, bench presses 600 pounds. And just shoves James Williams out of the way like he's a, a fly, just kind of bothering him. What are you supposed to do? Yeah, Derrick Henry, right? Yo, man. What is that nonsense? We can't Even tackle, bro. They line up to kick this one away. We're all right, though. Excellent I'm not worried. Kick. I'm bringing it out. He's to the 10. That's a. <laughs> he gets out to about the 15 right. yard line. Get it together. Yo, get it together. We all right, okay? We're all right. You think about Three straight L's? No way, man. No way. You've got to find a way to keep building your lead. And on the other side, you've got to find a way to get back in it. He passes it. This one is incomplete. I'm not so sure he made the best decision that time. That was a dropped it right in his hands. Who's trying to throw that one into? I don't know what else. I, I, I dropped it right in his hands. Y'all see now I can't catch a break, right? Y'all see this, right? I'm gonna run another jet sweep. That was literally that. So it's Arroyo could have should have caught 15. that with his eyes closed. Jet sweep the Herald. Should have cut up field. He tackles him for a loss. Should have cut up field. That was a jumbled mess. Absolutely terrible. Okay. So this is not going how we anticipated so far. So far. Third and 14. Yeah, Ball on the yeah Melissa, line. it was on the money. On the freaking money. There's Horton. Oh, Horton's in, okay. But look, literally, literally, what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? That's two plays. Yeah, punt now, yeah. That's two plays. Arroyo hit him in the hands. Harrell hit him in the hands. Booming kick. Literally, what am I catch. supposed to do? Could have been a pick. It could have been, yeah, but it also should have been a catch. It should have been a catch. It was a pretty one you got it. Those guys got to make a play, man. Somebody has to step up. Sometimes it's just how it is. You got to rely on some of these guys to make a play. And... That was catchable. Yeah, it was close, but it was 100% a ball that, he, that Harold should have come down with. Arroyo, definitely, man. Arroyo, I'm still, I'm, I'm heated over that one. So it's second down now, and they need about exactly. Game changers make plays. 100%. You're right. 100%. This is what our playmakers are underperforming, and it's disgusting. Hey, co-op. Reporter Susan here. Bench TVD. Wide receiving core isn't playing for him. It's a mental battle. There must be locker room drama from him drinking Gatorade on the sidelines during draw from plays. The 42 yard line. First down. Steve! My man Steve coming through with the $10 top dono of the night. Steve, I'll sit you atop your throne. Once they have to punt the ball to us, give me just a moment. Thank you for the love, man. I'm about to do something. 
I don't know what, but I'm about to do something. Because this is this, this is ridiculous, man. Second down. Whiff. Completely whiff with the Saint. I had that tackle, and I whiffed it. I user controlled. Might regret this, but here we go. Got to take some chances in this game. It is what it is. They catch everything. Like, they, everything that's thrown their way, they catch it. I want their gloves checked. Real talk. I want somebody checking their gloves at halftime. From the 29 yard line, it's first down. Yeah, I got him, Phil. I got him. I just got to wait till I've got an opportunity here. They'll bring him down at the 31 yard Don't worry, line. I won't forget about my man, Steve. Exactly. We got to check it for that sticky stuff, man. Thank you. Thank you. And they make the stop okay. at the 31. So plenty of time left. We just need to stop right here. Third and 12. Big time play right here. Big time play. There we go. I'm ready, y'all. Still should have been a sack, though. Like, still should have been a sack, though. Real talk. Yo. Let me ice him and let me stop the clock. All right. Let me ice him and let me stop the clock. Let me put Steve and my man, Robin. Let me sit them atop the throne here right quick. What a freaking game. This is, wow. This is... Steve, <laughs> I always, it takes me 10 minutes to, to you, it, you, this is so, so difficult. You know I struggle with this every time. <laughs> and Robbie M, Robbie, thank you for the love, man. First super chat from Robbie. Thank you for the love, man. Appreciate that. Is that a uh, Miami Dolphins helmet for the profile pick? I dig it. So Canes fan and Dolphins fan, I take it. I dig it. I dig it. Could have just wrote Steve. Can I write Steve? Right, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Steve. Everybody knows Steve. Come on this is now. What it take we all know Steve. To where do you? On the side of your helmet. Steve and Robbie sitting atop the throne. There we go. You don't care. <laughs> oh. All right, here we go, man. He could miss. He could miss. We iced him. Can we admit the game has not been very kind to me tonight? Can we at least? Yo, listen. Look, look, look. Yeah, I've, look, Coach Coop is not the perfect head coach. Right I've made a lot of questionable play calls in my career. Virginia. Can we admit that Everyone it has not been very kind to me tonight? This is what it takes. Like, yo, come on. To where are you? He's to the side of your helmet. Only stopping in for two minutes. He makes it out Looks to like I would have won if anyone line. had bet that co-op would throw up 50. Are we co -op not ice Chris. And thumbs down or something? No, Chris. You're embarrassing we, our players Chris, again, man. Chris, there's two this more quarters. Chris, to it's you. not even half I'm time yet. Now, Hoodie girl for OC. Fly the Chris. banner. Chris, we not Chris. I'm gonna tell you something. You said you can only stop in for two minutes, which means you still have one more minute left. Chris, 
I hit Arroyo right in the hands, bro, and he dropped it. Chris, I, I put a ball, a, a really a perfectly placed ball for Harold to make a play, and he dropped it. Chris, I'm telling you, and they're, they're catching everything, bro. Look, they are catching everything. At halftime, I'm pulling the refs to the side, and I'm going to have a word with them. For real. They are going in. They're going into the Virginia locker room, and we're checking the gloves. We're checking the gloves. Chris, thank you for the top dono of the night. The big fat 20. I will sit you atop your throne. There's still time, Chris. I honestly still think we can go off. I do. I, I actually do. You guys don't believe, but I do. And, you know, that's why I'm the head coach. This is and you guys are the fans. You know? To where do you on the side of your head? It's just the truth. We need your ASS fired at halftime. Not going to cut it. You got to go, blood. Melissa! Coming in with the dollar ninety nine. Also, she says, "Hoodie girl for OC, fly the banners." I can't stop the fans. I mean, I, I, I the fans are gonna do what the fans are gonna do, and I can't stop them. But I'm telling you, the university does not want to deal with my buyout. I can promise you that they don't want to deal with it. I, you, you guys are stuck with me whether you like it or not. Steve. Coming in with the 10 what it take. No, Guys, there's time. Yo, Toward listen. You. Hold I'm up. Sorry your Let me cook. We need your butt fired at halftime. Not Yo. going to cut it. You got to go blood. Let me cook right here. Okay? Watch this. You guys are about to regret what you're putting in there. Watch this. Not much luck the last time this offense Hey, had check the back. Check back here in about an hour, they Chris. An empty and you're going to be very surprised. That's all I got to say. That's all I got to say. Good play, Ray Ray. Got out of bounds. Love to see it. Check back. That's, that's all I'm saying. From their own 38-yard line. Melissa right now would be saying run the slant. Guaranteed. He has one wide open i pressed the button get to the can't get any protection get from this o-line very very well on that no protection from this o-line the same play that's okay that's not what i'm pressing but no excuses dangerous throw this one's picked off Yo, this, yo, listen, this game's bugging, bro. That's not even the play I picked. I could have burned a timeout, but we were running low on time. Look, yo, listen, I'm about to, I'm seriously fixing the bench, TBD. I'm not even playing. That's not even the play I picked, and that's not even the button. No, I didn't, I, look, y'all ain't going to believe me. It's fine. I wouldn't believe me either. He's going to try and scramble, and he's going to come up with a sack. Sometimes I wouldn't it's believe just a me either. This pass rush that results in a sack. That's what happened there. I don't even know what's happening right now. No, 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 no. Back off. Yo, back off. Caught out of the open. Stay in bounds. And he's taken down at the 36-yard line. Virginia will take their second time out of the half. Third down, and they need to get it to the 28. Wait, guys, plenty of time left in this ball game. Empty backfield. Y'all give up way too easy. Five wide receivers. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Plenty of time. Honestly, what not fit. See, I'm telling you. We're going to regroup at halftime, okay? 
He missed it. Yo! Let's go! So still time. First drop pass of the game led to a fourth down. They missed the field goal. We have one timeout. Hold on, y'all. Y'all better hold on. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. Hold on, guys. Play sound football from here out and make a few This plays, is what it takes. There's no reason they can't get to back into you this. On the side of your helmet. So next week we start your Florida A&M season? Only place that will take you after this catastrophe. Double coverage. Hey, who? Very fortunate that the tight end was not able to make that catch. The last thing I'm still I'm still believing in my guys. This is what you guys don't get. I'm still believing in my guys to make a play and they're they're too slow. Their hands are trash. Not certified. And it's just getting out of hand. It is what it is, you know? It out to his receiver in a hurry. And he's tackled. To okay, I got time for one Miami shot right here. I got time for one shot right here, baby. Talk all the time about the emotions of college football. This play was definitely an emotionally charged play. What a way for the wideout to make a statement in this game. Thank you, Steve, for the five. Uh, fake screen will route to Harrell. Not open. Not open, but I was hoping he could make a play anyways. They were bringing pressure. I had to get it out quickly, guys. Sometimes, like I said, you got to take a chance. It is what it is. But there's still time for another shot. I have no timeouts, though, so it's got to be for the end zone. Overthrown. Wow, TVD. Wow, TVD. Yo, what was that? Yo, what? Uh, hello? Huh? What was that? One more shot. Now we don't even have an opportunity for a field goal if we wanted it. Harold and Young both going deep here. I'm pressing the button! Yo! First half is over, and this is why they play the game. Virginia's got a 13-point lead. Listen. Yo, 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 listen, listen. We got we got to have a talk, man. I pressed the button right there. Nope, nope, right here. I threw it to Harold because I knew we had to take a shot. It does even if they get a pick here, guys, the clock's at zero, right? You you literally have to take a shot. No matter what, even if everybody's covered, the one thing you can't have happen there is a sack. You can't. And he probably would have beat him. Yeah. Harold would have beat him. It should have been a touchdown. Should have been a touchdown. I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to complain. We're down 20 to 7 going this into the third. To where do you? We receive. On the side of your helmet. TVD transferring to a Juco at halftime. <laughs> Everyone say their goodbyes. Halftime adjustments, yes. I agree. Steve! Steve feeling super generous tonight. Thank you for the love, man. Uh... I'm going to need all the all the donations and money I can get because I'll probably get a pay cut after this game. It's just, it just it, it is what it is, you know. No no bonus, no bowl game bonus, no college football playoff bonus, no ACC championship bonus. Uh 
Coach Coop is going to be broke. I might even have to consider selling the Lambo. And I really didn't want to have to do that. Okay. Plenty of time left. Defense is, is settling in a bit. 20 to 7 is we've come back from more. Really, we have. So I think we're okay. Let's just let's focus. And and let's make it happen. I, man, look at this. First time super chat from my man. Workforce freebie. I agree. Ed Reed halftime speech. Circle the wagons. Ed Reed halftime speech. Circle the wagons. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thank you for the two workforce. I appreciate that, man. Thank you, everybody, for the love in the first half of this ball game. Uh, top dono so far, my man Chris Gaffney with the 20, but everybody showing mad love Welcome tonight. Back, everybody. Second half action about Just, to begin. He kicks it off. And for he all the doubters, be prepared to eat your words. That's all I'm going to say. He's to the 20. At the 30. Be prepared to eat your words. Virginia's when that clock says and zero. Looks like their defense sort of just feeds off itself. I think the energy is there, Brad, but I think it really starts up front with their defense. What's up, AO? Linebackers, the way they're being able to just win the battle at the line of scrimmage. I think it's giving them confidence and it's allowing them to play more. Good field position here on the return off. to start. We're There's fired up, man. Yo, our guys are fired up right line. now. They don't have the luxury of wasting Wait a minute. Rise if they want to get back in the game. I'm going to change the play. Hike it. Yo, okay, for real. Real talk. I'm going to unplug my controller and plug it back in. I'm pre I swear, I like I said, you guys aren't going to believe me. I'm pressing the button, and he literally sat there and did nothing. I know I changed the play late, but it should have hiked it. Hold on. Give me a second. I'm not making it. I'm not. Look, it doesn't matter. It shouldn't be 20 to 7. I agree. Okay. I agree. It shouldn't be. So, no excuses. So, the penalty makes it first and 15. It's not there. And they get the sack. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, it's all falling apart. The There's the guys are arguing in the locker room, man. Uh, it's not looking good. It's not looking good, man. We need this to be a more manageable third down here. Okay. We'll take that. Not we take that. Pick up, pick up a little, a little first down right here. Move the sticks. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Okay, barely, but barely's all we need. That's fine. Perfectly fine. And we're not in like panic mode or anything here. Like we're not in a position to where we're like trying to only throw the ball here. There's plenty of time left. Oh, wait a minute. I see some good news in the chat. People are going to say I'm trying to break the immersion. Hold on. Hold on. I got to check this out though. Hold on. Prime time Zell. Coop. Big news. I got accepted into the U to get my master's degree starting this fall. I'll be working in sports administration. Yo! Yo! Let's go! Let's go. Can we get some love? Can we get some congratulations in the chat for primetime? That's huge news. That's a family member getting accepted into the University of Miami. This U right here. Prime time, Zell. 
huge congratulations. That's that's so big. So freaking big, man. Show some love. That's big time, for real, man. I, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. It might not mean anything coming from Coop, but I'm I'm proud of you. That's big time. That's sick, man. That's awesome. You're going to kill it. You're going to absolutely kill it. You know, a lot of times, coaches look to linebackers for leadership on defense. That's awesome. And on that tackle, I hope you're you feeling the, the love case. from everybody. So big. From their own 49-yard line. Second down. Yeah, man, that's that's so cool. That's so cool. I probably wouldn't be smart enough to get accepted into the U. <laughs> I'm just being real. He airs it out. Fires quickly, and they got it. Touchdown. Touchdown, Miami. Don't be a fan later. That's all I got to say. Reveling to you after this when you were trashing Coach Coop in his play calling. Make plays for them. This guy right now clearly is the go-to guy for this offense. I don't even want to see you in the stands. And he hits the PAT. <laughs> Yep, that's where Hoodie Girl got her degree from, guys. The U. Looks like they're ready for the kick. The U. You, I'd get accepted into music engineering. Do they have a um? Do they have a diss track degree, Steve? Do you know? Do they have a a YouTuber's degree? No. So now both teams come trotting back out onto the field. Virginia up six. Somebody tackle that man. Now he tries to buy some time. Jeez. And they make the stop at about the 31. Jeez. Good coverage, but come on. Shouldn't have picked up six there. four yards away here they do okay oh robert you went to miami i didn't i don't think i knew that he makes it to the 32 yard line so there are multiple people in here that have actually attended the university of miami that's awesome heck yeah Down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Let's go. Let's go. Huge play by the defense. No. Oh, you have a bachelor's and a master's of science in nursing. Heck yeah. I don't know if you'd ever told me what you actually had, Melissa. Is back away yeah, that's awesome. Point. See, prime time, you came to the right place to deliver that news. I can tell you that. Joseph, you came to the right place. You, you guys, do you smell a momentum change, or is that just me? Is it just me, or do you guys smell a a momentum change? Six points and a pretty I'm trying another jet Passing sweep. I don't care. Their last drive. Kirk, I'm trying another jet sweep because I really believe team. it can work. When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is it just trying, not today. Just working. But maybe if they add just a just little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force him into a mistake. What's up, Palm so Beach Kane? And 12. Ball on their own 35. How was the movie? Mission Impossible, the new one? Flag, 
Going deep again. I know it was double coverage, but look, man. Look, man. He just put his pads on him the second he touched it. Slants ain't going to cut it. It's not going to be deep enough. We really, we really need a touchdown here. We need to take the lead so bad. We really do. Third down, 12 yards to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. They'll Come on, Arroyo. Wide receivers. That's a bad throw, bro. That's so bad. That's so bad. That couldn't have went any worse. That couldn't have went any worse than that, actually. Couldn't have been any worse than that, 100%. Virginia with a six-point lead. Defense is standing up, man. And now here we are. The problem is, bro, look, I, that O-line, look, the O-line is not giving me time. I've got, look, bro, that O-line is just not giving me enough time, From man. From their own 40-yard line, second down. Let's change this. Hold on. Thank goodness. Okay. Okay. All right. Just no more picks, man. No more picks. See, this is why I'm saying, though, Cajun Kane. There's, it's impossible for me to take. It, there's just no way. There's no way because, like, if I got yelled at for the first two weeks for rolling out of the pocket. And then people are like, Coop, roll out of the pocket. And I'm like, bro, what do you want? <laughs> Pressure. No way. Okay, good, good, good. Throw. They couldn't pick up the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. On have you considered down, running this play called a slant to the fellow the named Harold? I will the say there is, well this, the there is this chick with a hoodie on behind me, and she keeps whispering. Spark the slant is waiting Harrell. for the snap. And when I turn around, she's gone. It's this this hooded this hooded figure. They'll bring him down. I'm sorry if I said chick, Melissa. I'm you know I didn't mean You know what I mean. You know what I mean. I know, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's not you. I do that a lot. I do that a lot. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. And we'll see how aggressive this defense is when they come back out. We got away from the run game, you know. Up the pressure to try to fluster this quarterback some more. Whispering it or screaming it in a haunting shriek. <laughs> oh. I just don't know with TVD, man. Like, sometimes he's on it and sometimes it's just bad. I know she hates it. That's why as soon as I said it, I was like, oh, oops. I really did not mean to do it. Oh, this is not the slant to Harold. This is what it takes to wear the you on the side of your helmet. TVD isn't there even is good X. enough to play for Middle Tennessee. Bench him before is, he X. gets too fired. But then look at that play, Steve. But then look at that. Like, you know? But then what about that play? The I don't know, man. One minute I love TVD. One, the next minute, I, he, I'm so mad. Oh, that's bad. They read that. And he's taken down okay. At the 37. No gain on the play. They read that all day. I will say the 50 points isn't looking too good. I think I got to be honest about that one. The 50 points is not looking too good. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 37. Four down, four down. Mike six, 33. 33. Let's go. Wide 50. Wide 50. Good hands, young. Good hands. The 24 yard line. Let's go.
This is what it take to wear the U on the side of your helmet. We need a Run the Slant the to Herald t-shirt. You know what? We kind of do. We kind of do. Melissa! I think you're right. No! Oh! That was a touchdown. That was a that touchdown got stolen, bro. Yo. Yo. That's not that get the game did me dirty, bro. 100%. Game the game just did me dirty. They need about 3 yards. Steve's got to go to bed. Hey Steve, down. I want you to sleep well knowing that Coop is going to get the dub tonight. I ain't putting up 50, but I'm getting the dub, all right? Sleep well knowing that, Steve. The 10. I want you to sleep with a smile on your face. Thank you for all the love tonight, man. I appreciate you. Thank you, man. Don't worry. No, don't worry. It doesn't matter. Look, guys, I promised 50, but I knew that the, that the fans would be happy with a dub after back-to-back -back losses. This game ain't over yet, but I'm just saying, okay? Like, see, I, I set I set the bar high, right? And and, and then I was kind of like, you know what? The fans want to win. Touchdown, Miami! You know they they want they want a W. And I'm here to deliver. Good drive right there. Really good drive. Here's the extra point. Hey, DM me the after, lead. Melissa, because I need to send some your way, too. We need, we need to talk PAT. about it. I love the idea. We got the lead now. I love the idea, guys, of doing Miami. some t-shirt designs this, this year that have inside jokes on them that only we all know. Excellent. Like run the slant to Harold. Something. Oh, he's bringing it out. Something about all caps. You know, he go Canes, all caps, so it doesn't count. Like we have shut them down, down in the second half of this ball game. Let's keep that trend going. Right now, you're looking around that huddle, saying, "Fellas, just forget about the previous mistake. Put it behind us. Let's keep it that way." What's up, Tony? This deficit Good to see you, man. Easily overcome. Sure. The eighty percent thing. Yeah. If they don't get something going on this series, the burden is going to be felt by their defense. Looks like he flinched down there on the line. Okay. Hey, we'll take what we can get. Your offensive progress. Hundred percent. We take those. We take those, man. So we'll have first and 15. Hey, well, we got the hookup for you later this year, Robert. I like the wait for uh, T-shirt designs and stuff. Let's go. I like to hold that stuff for the football season because that's when the real hype is going to be there, right? Exactly, Melissa, because everybody here would like the inside jokes because we all know what's up. You know, we would get it. Second and 19, big time play right there. I'm guessing they let this go to the, the fourth quarter. Second down. But I don't know for sure. Maybe not. No, they didn't. Got a huge hit on the quarterback, That's a great bro. Tackle. At the 27 huge hit. That was half a step away from a sack. Look at this right quick before we start the fourth. Because you know what we need to see. I, bro, I smelled blood. Look at this. Oh! Come on! Yo, come on. Watch it real time. Oh. Uh. All right, guys. Going into the fourth quarter with a one-point lead on Virginia. 21 to 20. Let me see those fours in the chat. Come on. 
Now, last night, y'all got all hyped because Ahmad Moten jumped in the stream. I need to see that same kind of energy because what you guys don't realize is that a lot of times they're lurking. That's why I was so shocked that Moten actually said something last night because they don't typically do that. Typically, the, if the players are chilling, they're just hanging out, just seeing what people are putting. They're not talking. I need to see that same energy. We're winning right now. Look, I promised 50. We're almost halfway there with one quarter to go. Anything could happen. I'm just saying. All right? Anything could happen. Your prediction for Virginia game last season was 24 to 20 Canes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Oh, man. This is so big. This is... I. It, we can't drop three games in a row, guys. I, I, I'm already on the hot seat, you know? Uh, I think that you guys have secured enough fan funding for the banner. So this is we a must win. Boy. I think this is a must win for year one with, with, for Coach Coop. Kane for life, 75, 41 months. Almost the entire time that the Kane's fan membership has been a thing and might even be. Kane for life, 75 says, go Kane's! Thank you for the love, man. Let's show Kane for Life 75 some love. re up in that Kane's fan membership. Appreciate you, bro. We are, man. We are. That's always the vibe that I want here on this channel. Always the vibe. I want it to be different. You guys know that. I want it to be different than everywhere else. I don't want this to feel like any other channel. Let's go! Let's go! With a big stop, and it looks like there's where's my big spoon at? Where is it at? Defense is eaten. 41 months. That's one of the longest ones I've seen from Kane for Life Joseph 75. Be the return man. That's one of the longest Kane's fan memberships I have seen on the channel. Come on, bro. I can't break that tackle. Real talk, yo. When he made the decision to return Yo. the ball, I'm sure he thought there was going to be some room to run. But boy, did it vanish in a hurry. Still, Yo. he got something out of it. Both teams realize that now, we're not going to be passive here. All right? I'm not, I'm not playing scared. I do want to make sure we still keep running the ball, though. I do still want to run. Because of that right there. Because they can't stop it. That's why. They can't stop it. I still want to do another jet sweep, but I know y'all don't like it. <laughs> I, I kind of... Look, I kind of... Okay, I won't. I won't. It's first and ten. Ball on the I won't, but I want to. Yeah, back off. Back off. Give me some room to run. Okay, now they're on to it. I could run a little play action, I guess. People ask every week why I don't run more play action. Honestly, the O-line has me terrified to run play action. It really honestly does. And I, I hate to say that. I really do. From the 46-yard line, it's second down. The hooded figure is yelling in my ear. Uh-oh. Tight end and in and out of his hands. Great. That stopped the clock. And Arroyo's not getting another another ball his way. It just it's it's not happening. It, it's not happening. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 34.
This is not Andy's range. I think this is outside Andy's range. I think Arroyo, Arroyo has really upset me. He really has. I, You know, with the way the defense is playing, here, here's the problem, bro. Look, like, I don't think Andy can get this. Like, the defense is playing well. Do I play the field position game? Do I do I try to pin them deep here, three and out, get the ball back? You know, not a lot of time left. Like, let me let me come out. Look, this is outside. This is even outside of Andy's range. Let's be real. Let's be real. This is outside of Andy's range. Let's see if I can pin them deep. The problem is. I don't know if you guys know, Joey, it's very it's hard to pin people deep in this game. Very hard. Like, I'm going to have to try to not put much juice on this. Oh, that was that was too little juice. Very high punt. The birds better watch That was out. too little juice. Okay. For a fair catch. Hunting in this is finicky, man. Okay. This is what it takes. To where do you on the side of your helmet? Cool. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still be Even the people, even people in the chat are starting to say it, Eric. <laughs> they see you and they're like, Eric! <laughs> oh, I love it. Thank you for the two, Eric. What's up, bro? I love it. I love it. So it's second down. My fam. It's been big time family, family vibes tonight, you know? Don't you guys think so? It's been big time family vibes. Let's go, let's go. Big play. Big. Legendary scratch builds. What's up? I feel like I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Forgive me if you've been here and I've just not been paying attention. That's a very, very good possibility. So it's really good possibility. Got about two yards to go. Yeah, I'm bringing the pressure. Let's go! Let's go, Gendry! Let's go! Ouch! Pretty big loss on the play, and I think so they what's might up, want Eric? to reassess the strategy here. Perhaps what's up, man? Maybe hit this went exactly how we had hoped. Line is Honestly, just a bit much it really did. Other than we didn't pin him quite as deep as we wanted, we're getting the ball back. We didn't. It, it was outside Andy's range, y'all. It was outside of his range. Fourth down, back deep. Yo, Ray Ray, what are you? Yo, are you dancing back there? The like. They were lucky to prevent a big return there. Yep, Yo, that what was big what was if that? Got a few more blocks and was able to find the seam. <laughs> what was going on there? Yeah, I agree, Melissa. It's that Both thing. I know, I know that Coach Cook promised fifty plus on these Miami guys, but you got to play to win. I don't care if it's a video game, real life, what it is. What was that? What was that juke, bro? You got to play to win. When it's a tight ball game and everybody's looking at the head coach, you know, to, to make the call, you play to win. 100%. Ray Ray doing a cha-cha. True, that's exactly what it looked like. To the left now, y'all. Crisscross. Crisscross. Everybody clap your hands. And down he goes, right around the Play to every floor. prom across the country. Good hard run from Parrish. Sometimes you got to lean on the run game. You got to burn some clock. I got to stop snapping it so early. It is what it is, y'all. You can call it boring football. You can call it whatever you want. I call it being a smart head coach. From the 34 I see you, Eric. I see you looking out for me, bro. I see you looking out for me. I'm doing my thing, you know. All right, Fletcher with a fresh set of legs here. I need some good blocks. Let's go. Let's go. Just hold on to that ball, Fletcher. No. True, we got to impress the recruits, Carlos. 
true. Harold's speed is insane in this game, Melissa. Have you noticed, like, when, when he runs his routes, it's 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 mind blowing. Honestly, it's crazy. From the what about the electric line. slide? I don't even know the difference, to be honest. What's the difference in the electric slide and the cha-cha slide? Those are two different things. Burn the clock. Burn the clock. I'm chilling. I'm big chilling, y'all. Ah, come on. He makes it out come on, I'd honestly... That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I know they're getting on. It's, it's about it that time when you would want to take a shot. To where you Either do some play action I'm or you throw the ball. Coach, but, you're the best. I, I think that we can still run. Like, I, I really actually do. I, th I think that we can still successfully run the ball. I think we're asserting our dominance here. We're the more physical team. Our O-line can take care of business here. If if we don't get a big run here, there's a chance that I play action or I go in the shotgun and we look for a pass. Maybe a slant to Harold. Legendary Scratch My man coming in, tying the top dono spot with Chris Gaffney. You the best, man. You the best. I'm just here playing a video game, and we're all just hanging out talking college football. So, hey, man, I appreciate that. Thank you for the love, bro. I'm going to see. I'm gonna sit you atop your throne here with Chris. If I put legendary, is that cool with you, or do you want me to put the whole thing? I can put... I can put... That's a long name. I know. That's why I'm asking him. Don't don't think it's being disrespectful if you're like, Coop, no. I want you to put legendary scratch builds because I'll find a way to put it up there. We'll stretch it across. We'll, look, bro, if you want, we'll do this. Bro, if you want, we'll... <laughs> you let me know, okay? You let me know. I just want you to know you're appreciated, man. That's all. I want you to know that I appreciate the love. Thank you for that, bro. No, thank you. Thank you, man. I am here to entertain. I'm here to put a smile on your face. I'm here to give you an experience different than any other experience on this platform. That's what we're here to do. And I think last night kind of proved that a little bit. <laughs> With Ahmad Moten showing up and then uh, me calling Lance Leggett. Taken down the <laughs> I think it kind of proved that these streams can go anywhere. You do not want to miss a stream on this channel because you don't know what's going to happen. I'm still running it, y'all. I know you're probably not going to like this, but I think it's fine. Yeah, see, the controller was just being wonky, Thomas. That's all it was. Controller was just being weird, you know? Wait a minute. Do I really run this? Parrish, I'm trusting you. It's third and six, man. I need this. Parrish, I need this. Huge hit. My man put his body on the line right there. Is she really Palm Beach Kane? That's awesome. That's sick, man. Yo, my man Parrish put everything on the line for that run. He knows what's at stake here. He knows deep into their own territory he knows Paris did put this team on his back man we gotta take a look at those stats we gotta take a look at them let me know though legendary uh, scratch builds how you been like what have you been up to how's life man look this game ain't over yet I'm gonna hold my trash talk for the end cause y'all were dogging me and rightfully so I made some questionable decisions I did. Yo, you can't give me that? Yo, you, you can't give me that? They burned, They called a timeout last play, didn't they? And I sat there and let the, the play clock run down like a big goober. I thought about doing the sneak. I could challenge. I could challenge. Hold up. Let me see. Hold up. I'll be petty. I don't care. 
I don't want three losses in a row. I don't care. Look at the cut, too, man. Look at the cut. Look at the vision, man. There ain't nothing over here. There ain't nothing over here. And right, there's a defender right here to the left. But my man Parrish plants his foot. Uh, cut it upfield. Makes contact here and still pushes. Drives through it. Falls forward. Ooh. Ooh. What do you think? Do you challenge that? Real talk. Do you challenge that? Unless they're going to say the knee was down right there. Because I say it's down right there. I might lose the timeout. And... You're not going to challenge? You don't challenge it? No? Okay. You're right, you're right. You know what? We'll just punch it in right here. I'm just going to close my eyes. Touchdown, Hurricane. Touchdown, Miami. Run it back if you don't believe me. Run it back if you don't believe me. <laughs> Henry Parrish putting in work. Yo. Henry Parrish, let's make this an eight-point game. Do your thing, Andy. Parrish, really, man. Parrish. And Fletcher came in, has come in clutch when we need him to, right? Fletcher has come in and really also ran well. He has. Let's be real. You're going to have to take it easy on Lance. He's an old man. You make him pull a hamstring. I know, man. I was telling his dad. I was telling his dad, bro. I was like, I don't want Lance having to go to the hospital or the doctor. Excellent kick. I don't want that on me, man. He better stretch. I'm going to make sure Lance stretches it. Guys, sure if you missed the stream last night, to go for six that time. But you former Miami Hurricanes wide receiver really Lance Leggett jumped into the stream. For these kind of opportunities. Well, I challenged him to, one possession game to a 40-yard dash race game. last year, and he chickened it? out. You know real talk is it's the truth time in the game. he didn't show either way just over two minutes in the game. i called him out on it last night clemson game it's going down and there's a lot on the line there's a bet so if you guys have a game to go to that's the one that's the one been dodging it yeah what's up Corey gray what's up man Uh, here's last minute got to work glad to see the scoreboard, but I was wanting that 50 me too the spike will stop Me the too, but at this point we're taking the dub, you know, and it ain't over yet The scary thing is it's <laughs> it's not over yet Third and long it ain't over yet man if you're the offensive court we're working True combined it's 50 points Wants to go long and oh! almost Come on! Game, stop doing me dirty. Yo, stop doing me like that. Like, come on. It's not even funny at this point. They, they could tie this up. I have to be careful here. I got to be really careful here. Okay. They only got one timeout. They're trying to save it. They got to score and get the two-point conversion. But we don't even want it to come to that. We do not even want to go there. So it's second down, and they're only about a I know, man. I know, Mr. Overdose. 
Mr. Overdose, I know. That's why I'm so mad. They're going to try to eat me up with those short passes. Okay. I see you. I see you, Virginia. It's coming down to the wire. Okay. All right. Okay. Nah, nah, we got him. Honestly, that pick would have sealed the deal, though. Man, that makes me mad. That pick would have sealed it, bro. He caught that. The 37-yard line. Huh? Okay, we gotta bring some pressure here. I, I can't be having this. I can't just let that man sit back there and, and, and pick us apart. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. They come out on an empty backfield. And he got out of bounds. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, okay. Okay. I just need a big play, man. We just this is what it you know what? They got out of bounds. Let's call a timeout. Let's call a timeout. We gotta regroup, get our guys some water. Still feeling good about my bet. And again, stop embarrassing our players. Last dono till video. P later all. <laughs> Chris. Chris, there's 48 seconds. Chris. I, there's there's still a lot of time. Thank you for the 499, the Chris. Yard line. It's first down. Chris, there's still a lot of time. Stays in bounds, really? Make a nice catch. Inbounds. Let me see. No, 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 no. No, I need a better replay than that. No, no, I need a better replay than that. I will not hesitate to challenge this if it's close. Initially calls it a catch, but we'll have a chance to take a second look Let at it and determine it. if he really was in bounds. Let me see it. Well, the side judge was standing right there, so I'd be surprised if he missed that call. Okay, that might be a catch. That's probably a catch. After, After review, review of the play, play the, ruling the ruling on the field, on the field stands. stands. The ruling on the field will stand. He caught it. The only thing left to say about this play is that was an excellent catch. I hear you guys hear the fans booing. Do you hear that? <laughs> play of the you drive. hear the fans booing? Yo, I dig it. Five wide receivers. Oh, white, white. Shift, shift over. How? How does he literally? Yo, this has got to be a joke. This is not real life. Okay, it comes down to the two point conversion. Oh boy. Wow, the the uh, the energy in the room has changed. Wow. Wow. Um very important play coming up and if they can get these 2 yards, we'll have a tie ball game. Boy, the energy in the room feels a lot different right now. He's got the 2. Great job to get it in for two. This team played very determined football in that series. Why is he standing there? What? Literally, why is he standing there? Make a, a, a read and, and move. Like, like, bro, it is just completely frozen. My man, Marquis, bro, like, I, I don't know. I don't know.
I got 41 seconds, one timeout. It's a tie ball game. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. I, I'm taking it. I'm field. taking it out. I don't care. He's to the 10. He's to the 20. That's why we took it out. The right there, baby. That's why we took it out. Do you believe? Do you believe? Yo, where are my where are my plays at? We're late in the fourth quarter. I know, be Three. smart. Don't do something stupid, this right? Don't do something stupid. I agree. You. I only got one time out. Your helmet. Even field That's goal why range. I hate to prevent defense. You prevent the win. Down. They took too much I was time. Delayed, Delayed game. game. Offense. Look like they might have been a little bit Still late getting the down. play in, and it results in a delay of game. Look, guys. Listen. Don't panic. It's all part of the greater plan. Real talk, though, why are my plays different? Like, actually. So the penalty Yo, huh? What? Down, down. Hey, check my check my Let's go. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled right around the 26-yard line. Come out, come out. I know y'all won't like it. I know you don't like it. Really, I should have went hurry up there and tried to see and save that timeout, but I panicked. Do I go ahead and take the field goal? Do I just take the field goal and then they just have to hail Mary it and we stop it? I got no timeouts. I panicked, okay? I panicked. I think I take the field goal and I don't think that they can score in 29 seconds. If I take a shot and he throws a pick and we go to OT, you take a shot? Yo, imagine, imagine, <laughs> listen, look, look, imagine. Imagine I take a shot here and it's short. And then we have to go hurry up field goal with no timeout. I don't even know the button to hurry up field goal. Play to win? I think the play to win is a field goal with 29 seconds left on the clock. And spike it? Yo, I think the field goal is a play. I'm being serious. I think that the defense can stand up. I'm looking at the bigger picture. That's what I'm thinking. No, bro, listen. Y'all are going to hate me because you're going to say this is being way too, way too timid. And it's, oh, it's 43. No, my normal plays aren't here. And here we go. This kicker has a chance to be a hero. The kick is Trust. Away. And Trust. It's good. The Hurricanes and their team pretty happy with that Trust. field goal, but I think you got to give credit to the quarterback. It's fine. Go Yo, drive. it's fine. The kick was clutch, but yeah, I we should have run the clock before did, taking the, the timeout if, if we would have thought about that beforehand. You're 100% right. You're 100% right. Really got under that one. High kick. That would have been the play. Run it down, then call the timeout, but. He's oh. to the 20. He's out to the 30. Room around the corner. 
the 50. And he's tackled at the 45. Oh, no. No, 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 right now. no. No! not up to their expectations at all, but they have the football here late in the game. They're very fortunate to still have a chance to maybe win it because they've not looked like themselves. No, 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 no. Uh -uh. Sets up the drama here no. in the fourth quarter. They've got the opportunity they've been looking for, an opportunity to take the lead and the win. Nice pitch and catch for the first down. Tackle at the 18-yard line. Number five brings him down at the 18-yard line. First down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I told you to trust in Coach Coop, the head coach of the Miami Hurricanes. Get the job. Let's go. Miami. Yo, for all the doubters. I told you. I told you. I'm Brad Nestler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA. Oh, man. Woo. They wanted to win. Yo, they wanted the win. I get it. I get it, bro. They wanted the win. They didn't want a tie game. They didn't want to go to overtime. And you want to know why? Because they knew they were going to lose. That's why they didn't want to settle for a field goal to go to overtime because I would have thrown the slant to Harrell and they would have lost the game. A win's a win. Yo, a win. <laughs> Did you see it, bro? I was falling apart inside. I literally, look guys, in my head, I was like, oh, we're done. I was like, we are done. I, I'm getting fired. I'm literally about to be fired. But we got the dub, so it doesn't matter. Guys, you don't want to go anywhere. Post-game presser is happening in about two minutes. Two minutes, post-game presser. Prepare your questions for Coach Coop, the, the head coach of the virtual Miami Hurricanes. We do need to see some stats, though. Melissa brings up a good point. I want to see Harold's stats. I want to see Parrish's stats. Uh, but let's take a look here right quick. 31-28, to three-point victory with a very controversial play. Going for the field goal with roughly 28 to 30 seconds left in the game. Decides to kick it off to Virginia. They get a huge return, drive down the field, decide that they want to go for the win instead of the tie, and they blew it. It happens. It's tough, man. It's tough. Uh, we have more passing yards than them. We have more rushing yards than them. Um, it is what it is. We were just a better football team this afternoon. You know, we did have two picks. Tyler Van Dyke still very, you know, fans are, are, they're not sure how to they feel you on the side of your helmet. about TVD. Okay, now last dono. Co-op saved by broken copy. Ha 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 Thank you for the 999, Chris. <laughs> Tony Elliott said, I got the balls to go for it, but it's more because he was scared. Honestly, it's because he was scared. It is what it is. You know? You know? Um, Henry Parrish had 17 carries for 82 yards. That's almost a five-yard average with three touchdowns. Honestly... Now, uh, hats off to Parrish, by the way. Hats off to Parrish. Put the team on his back. When we needed him to make a play, he did. What's crazy is look at Fletcher, bro. Five carries for 41 yards. That's over an eight-yard average. 
per carry. Is that insane or is that insane? Absolutely ridiculous. Receiving Harold four receptions for 144 yards. 36-yard average per catch, one touchdown, a 51-yard catch, and 38 yards after the catch. I'm not throwing to the tight ends anymore. Forget it. I'm not throwing the ball to Arroyo. McCormick's already riding the bench because he's been underperforming all season. It is what it is. All right? Four for 144 and a touchdown. I the, I need to see numbers like this in the real season, Melissa. The only difference is I need to see that reception number up higher. I need to see that man targeted multiple times per game. Real talk for a second, though. We're about to fire up the post-game presser. Robbie M. Pulling the trigger on that Canes fan membership. My man, Robbie. Yo, let's get some love for a new Canes fan member in the building. Come on, look at that. Use all around. Green names. You love to see it grow in the family. Love to see it. Thank you for the love, Robbie. Appreciate that, man. I told you, you don't ever know what's going to happen on this channel. You don't ever know what's going to happen. You never know. I'm happy to get the dub, man, and we are now 5-3 and three on the season. 5-3. and three. Real talk, though, the game did me dirty a couple times. I'm not going to make excuses, but some of those drop passes... I'm I'm questioning it, you know, like I'm I'm starting to wonder if there's some some inside rats or something, you know what I mean? That are trying to bring down the program. They don't like how strict I am with eliminating the Twinkies. Uh, they don't like the extra running that I've been having the team do, you know. But it's tough love. It, it's tough love, man. And I I want to see this team be great. And I think we're 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 on the verge of that, you know. We, we lost to Clemson by three points last week. This team's been through a lot of adversity. You know, ESPN's been talking down about Coach Coop and this team. But we came together, and we found a way to get the win. I'm going to let it read out Chris's... Uh, this is what it take to wear the U on the side of your helmet. Prepare your questions for the postgame. Co-op pounding chest after beating high school team when CPU froze. CPU didn't freeze. Yo! I'm telling you, I read, I read Tony Elliott all the way. I knew exactly what he was gonna do before he even did it, and that is a sign of a good head coach. Not trying to toot my own horn. I'm just saying. I read exactly what he was going to do the whole time. Chris, thank you for the nine ninety nine, Guys, post-game presser happening in roughly two minutes. Let me set up the podium, get everything going. Prepare your questions, all right? Remember, five and three on the season. We got the win tonight. I want to see some 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 good questions. You know, some, some thank yous, Coach Coop. Some... You know, we love what you're doing with the program. You know? And don't let Susan in here, all right? I'll see y'all in, in about two minutes.
we appear to be having some uh, technical difficulties. Um, <clears throat> uh, give me uh, just a moment. This is what it take to wear the you on the side of your helmet. Ha 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 H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H A H Settle down. I, I understand that everybody's partying and having a good time right now after this well-deserved victory. Um, but we do have a press conference here that I am uh, contractually obligated to do. Otherwise, trust me, I, uh, I wouldn't be here. So uh, let's go ahead and congratulate the team on a very uh, exciting victory tonight, 31-28 to over the Virginia Cavaliers, uh, a team that's, you know, better than, than a lot of people give them credit for. You know, I, I think that they're, they're, they're a really good football team, and the fact that we beat them speaks volumes about this Miami Hurricane squad. Now, I would like to add that, uh, the, you know, there, there might have been some questionable play calling there late in the game, but we got the win. And, and uh, the win, I believe, is what most fans are worried about, right? And there were promises, okay? I, I made a promise, as the head coach of this team, that we would put up 50-plus points on this Virginia football team. But I would like to add that that was Dawson's idea. That was not my idea. I actually thought that was a terrible thing to do. You, you do not want to promise any amount of points. And Dawson talked me into it, and reluctantly, I agreed, and I came out and I said that, and I shouldn't have. I'll man up, and I'll say that Dawson made a terrible decision, and I should not have listened to him. So with that being said, uh, I, I would like to open this up for questions. I would like to address one final thing. If you can tag me at Coach Coop in the chat, I will answer questions from all the reporters that are here tonight. I would like to say that last week I filled you guys in on how Shannon Dawson calls his plays. I showed you the 2001 quarter that he keeps in his pocket in memory of the 2001 National Championship team. And when he's not sure what play to call, he flips that quarter and it makes the decisions for him. I understand it sounds crazy, but it's how he's gotten to where he is today. And it's been pretty successful for him. A lot of fans have been asking me, what about Gidry? Does he do anything special with his defense when he's calling plays? And as a matter of fact, he does. He actually calls plays from up in the booth. And it's because he doesn't want anyone to see this secret but unfortunately, it leaked out last week, so I'm going to go ahead and come forward and let you know. So when Lance Gidry is calling plays on defense and he's conflicted, he doesn't know what coverage to be in, he's not sure what play to call, he looks to this instrument here. I'm not sure if the fans know what this is. But uh, again, this is something that has gotten him where he is today. And when he's not sure what to, to call, he just asks this thing right here. And, and it gives him the answer. So if you guys have been wondering, you know, why the defense has been performing so well and getting stops and and, and all those good things, uh, Gidry says to, to thank this. That whatever this devi magical device is. I have no idea how to use this stuff. I don't know if it's some kind of witchcraft or wizardry, if this is something straight out of Harry Potter 
or World of Warcraft or whatever this is. I, I, I don't know anything about that stuff. I, I coach college football. But with all of that out of the way, let's open this thing up for questions. So just tag at Coach Coop in the chat. Uh, if you've already put it, put it again because there's a good chance that I did not see it or maybe I just uh, was ignoring it because I, I didn't want to answer it. Workforce freebie. Did it evoke a feeling in the team when their own fans booed them at the Rock in the third quarter? You know, we've taught our players to embrace the booing. We we, we, get, we are the Miami Hurricanes. We've sucked for a very long time, man. We get booed week in and week out, and we've trained our guys. It's, it's a psychological thing, right? Uh, we've, we've put them through classes that teach them to hear booing as cheering. So actually, when they hear cheering they don't get as hype. They get more hype when they hear the booing. So we've we've trained them. We've we took them to a couple classes and they did the uh what is it when you wave the little the little clock in front of their faces and it, it it's it's worked very well. Very, very well. James Mays, I'm Fred Flintstone from Bedrock Sports. I I've been seeing your website's been blowing up as a matter of fact. I honestly it's gonna be bigger than ESPN, I feel like. Do you feel comfortable with your decision to kick the field goal after Virginia's long kick return? Absolutely. We we got the win, right? I understand that it was close, but that bumps up the ratings, you know, for ESPN. And, you know, we, we, we had that planned the entire time. I was one step ahead of Tony Elliott this entire game. And it's a little thing called reverse psychology. So I made Tony Elliott believe we were comfortable and... We weren't worried about the kick return when in reality, we knew they were going to return it big, you know, because a lot of teams have been doing that this year and we, he, it kind of played against him. We gave him a false sense of confidence is what we did. It's, it's a, a very, a very high level coaching technique. Briley was the delay of game in the second half because of Gidry and the magic eight ball or because even after the ball, uh, he needed to flip his coin. So there have been multiple instances where we have faced, uh, you know, delay of game penalties and these other various things due to Gidry and Dawson looking to the quarter and the Magic 8 ball. But I trust those guys. I hired them. They're on this staff. I trust their decision-making skills, and I look to them to make those big-time calls. And if they feel like we need to get a delay of game to make the right call, then we'll take that delay of game. Bryce, up here in the front, coach, why go for the field goal there? Why not take a shot and go for the win in the fourth? I have no faith in our quarterback, Tyler Van Dyke. Next question. And he, uh, same thing, guys. This is this is the, the psychology thing. He feeds off of that. You know, a, a lot of people believe in positive reinforcement. We're very blunt and honest with these guys. And and the, the more we are hard on them, the better they seem to perform. Melissa with Buckets Media. Tyler Harrell had four receptions for 144 yards. We're really hype on that guy. Uh, and a touchdown, 36-yard average. Why didn't you throw to him more? You know, we, we've actually we've thought about finding a way to get the ball to Harrell 30 or 40 times a game. Uh, I would like to run the jet sweep with Harrell. Uh, we, we could put him at running back at times as long as he can take the, you know, the the physical beating that's required to be at that position. We might even put Harrell at the quarterback position and just run quarterback draws multiple times a game. Uh, honestly, he is a he's a one-man team, and he's probably the best player on the team. So we will find a way to get him the ball 30 or 40-plus times a game. We're, we're going to try. Scotty Digital, is it too soon uh, to talk contract ex extension with all the negative chatter around the program? Uh, I'm 100% ready for a contract extension and would would – would humor it. Yeah. I mean, right now my contract is 20 years and it's, it's, I believe my buyout is around three. No, my buyout was 420 million. So, you know, I would absolutely uh, uh, entertain a contract extension at this time. Yes. Uh, I, I love coaching in paradise. And the fact that even if they, if the fans flew the banners, the university could not afford to get rid of me is a good feeling. I won't lie. Eric Birch. Why did you go with the prevent defense instead of putting pressure on? Because we all know the prevent defense is the prevent the win. 
Uh, that would be uh, thanks to this. You know, Eric, I, 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 you know, sometimes I have my doubts about Gidry and this little mechanism, but he believes in it and I believe in Gidry. So that's, that's, that's the play that it called and, and that's what we went with. So no regrets. No, we got the win. We, we, we got the win. Canes fans, you should be popping champagne bottles right now. We lost two in a row. But the reality of the situation is we lost by a combined nine points over the last two weeks. We're over the hump. Do the fans not see this? Do the reporters not understand? We're about to go on an absolute tear, a run unlike anything you've ever seen in this program. And you're either on board or you're not. Do you think we will get to see Skinner get some play time? Absolutely, because Arroyo's butt is going to be riding the pine. Uh, he will, uh, Arroyo is, is, that man has, he has no future in, in, in football. Forza 813, congrats on barely scraping by UVA. Thank you very much. We'll take the win. Not even a, a full season in as head coach and people are already calling for your head. What is your response? I feel like that's normal. You know, we live in a microwave society. Fans want instant success. And I have a very lengthy contract with a multi-hundred million dollar buyout. I'm not going anywhere anytime soon, and I'm not worried about a thing. At Coach Coop, who is faster, you or Lance from Cuban Kane? We all know the answer to that question. We all know. Doo-doo, up here in the front. Were you a little worried that Virginia was going to come back and win at the end of the game for a second? Absolutely not. No way whatsoever. Tony Elliott is just not that smart. You know, uh, he he's a good guy. Uh, we didn't throw hands like I did with Mac Brown. Tony Elliott's just his, his his IQ. Mine is like right here, and his is like down here. Like I'm 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 under the podium. So, no, we, were, we weren't worried about it at all. We knew he was going to make some kind of boneheaded decision or a call because he thought he had, a, you know, a big balls play there at the end. And look what happened. I hope, you know, hopefully he learns from this. Melissa, uh, when are you going to start listening to that hooded figure on the sidelines? You know, some believe that she's some sort of you know, otherworldly being or a, a, a prophet or I, I really don't know, but she, she just randomly makes appearances and, you know, I'll, I'll get with Dawson. I'll, I'll get with Dawson on that. Nick Snyder, there's a low drum beat on the horizon. Will the team be ready to step into a team on a war path? Absolutely. Uh, you know, we, we will run it any day of the week against any team. Uh, we want Alabama. We want Ohio State. We want Michigan. We want Florida State. We want all those teams. And we'll play them back to back to back. We'll play seven days a week because I believe that the conditioning with this team is unlike anything you guys have ever seen. You can take that to the bank. One final question and we're wrapping this thing up. Uh, from Bryce. Bryce, uh, the first half, it seemed like you guys were struggling, but got it together in the second half. What changed and what was said in the locker room in halftime? So the locker room under this coaching staff is 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 pretty crazy, Bryce. There's a reason that we don't allow cameras in there at any point. Uh, we tell the players they are not allowed to, you know, to talk about it. And for now, I, I will refrain from revealing very many details but just know pretty much that entire locker room has to be replaced after every home game. And I will I will leave it at that. Uh, Cuban Kane, final question here. Uh, Joseph's Comics, hold on, let's see. We missed a question from Joseph's Comics here. Joseph here from Horse and Hound. I, I, have, heard of, I have heard of your website. Really, really good job. Uh, just make sure that you keep all the articles about me positive you know like only good things okay uh our readers would like to know who is the uh, who is this controller you keep blaming your failure on and why not hire a new one 
Uh, you know, I have I get a lot of weird questions in regards to my thumbs and and controllers and, and, and talk of all this. I'm I'm really I'm I'm really not sure what 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 fans are are referring to. You know, we have some some really weird fans in, in, in this fan base, and, and you know, we love them all. You know, we 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 love them all, right? Uh, but we we have some fans that aren't quite. You know that they're, they're they're missing a a, a few a, a few pieces. They're um, you know, and I, I'm I'm really not sure what they're referring to when it comes to controllers or or thumbs. So, unfortunately, I don't have an answer for that question at this time. Uh, Briley, you were quoted uh, as saying, "Damn, we're slow in the first quarter. Are your players conditioned to be slow?" Again, it's it's reverse psychology, Briley. We are the best, uh, most well-conditioned team in the country, and I, I I can guarantee that it's just reverse psychology. We're just getting in those guys' heads. It's it's a it's a mental game. It's it, it's absolutely a mental game, and we're winning it. All right, I believe I believe that's it, guys. Do we have a question from from AO possibly? Coop, since I am Susan's future ex-husband, congratulations by the way. Congra con congratulations. Uh, I've been permitted to ask a question on her behalf. She wants to know the tough question. Gatorade or Powerade? You know what? The fact that you still brought her question here and asked it, I hope that, that you guys didn't sign a prenup. And I hope that she takes you for absolutely everything that you own. Guys, I, I have about 20 more minutes. I can still make it to Taco Bell uh, after this press conference here. I will see you next week for, I believe, NC State. Uh, honestly, I think uh, I think we beat them by at least three-plus touchdowns. I'll see you guys there. Yo, yo, yo. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all the love tonight. I apologize. I need to add something right quick. I need to add something real quick. I apologize if I if I miss your questions. Whenever I do the, the post-game presser, it is parody, by the way. It's, it's, it's not real. It's not actual shots at the players. We love every guy that's, that's repping the U, rocking the orange and green. Got nothing but love for all those guys. This is in, this is discussing the virtual season and we're just having a good time. It's all pretend for laughs and, and just to enjoy ourselves. So disclaimer out of the way. If I miss your question, I'm actually just looking at my phone as you guys are asking them, and it's very easy for some of them to slip through the cracks. So I'm not avoiding any particular person's question or anything like that. If if I ever don't see it, then just spam the heck out of it. And that that, that is a time that I, I don't get mad about spam because there's a good chance I just overlook it. Um, but I want to answer as many as possible. So don't feel bad for spamming it, for real. Don't feel bad at all. Uh, but thank you guys for all the love. Tonight, man, uh, absolutely wild season so far. I honestly think, you guys probably aren't going to agree, I almost think the Coop Plays version has been more entertaining, if that makes sense. And the, the only reason why I say that is because we, we all want to win in, in, in the real season. But in the virtual season, the closer games are kind of fun, right? And the CPU Miami is handling business, bro. Like they're undefeated, beating Clemson by ten points, thirty-one to ten against Virginia. Do you know? I, I hope that's the more realistic one, not mine, because uh, if it, if if mine is the more realistic one, then it's we're in for a heck of a ride this season. You know. But thank you guys uh, for all the love tonight. I believe who was the um. Who, that my room's going to be a mess, guys. I've got the light flipped around. Chris Gaffney and Legendary owning the board. Look, it's coming off the board. It's, it's coming off of it. Owning the board with the $20 dono, top dono of the night. I appreciate all the jokes, you know, the the laughter, the just hanging out with the fam, man. Saturday night, almost midnight, and we're hanging out talking virtual canes. Nothing but love, man. Thank you for all the love and the support tonight. 
hopefully I'll post some some videos this week. I'm hoping. I'm hoping, man. I'm just trying to get over this kind of mental. Uh, I'll be honest. This this mental depression kind of thing, anxiety, all that all that stuff, man. Uh, but I'll get there. I'll get there. So appreciate you guys. Love you guys. Have a safe Sunday tomorrow. Enjoy some time with the fam. Rest, relax, and much love. All right? I'll see you guys soon. But you know what we got to do, right? Like, did, did, did you think we weren't going to do it? Yo, did you actually think we weren't going to do it tonight? Can I OG help me out? Yo, can, can we show the people the way? Give me a bed!